<laughs> Good morning, Tesoro, and welcome to Yanan. Today we're going to be talking about grad night, prom, and volleyball. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm Kate in front of the field reporting for TNN. Seniors of the class of 2023 will be graduating on this field within the next two months. And while they have learned a lot within the past four years, I'm here to figure out a little bit more advice they should take in for the years to come. Go. What advice would you give to seniors graduating? You know, it definitely would be watch where you're going when you're driving, because I understand that somebody in this interview actually hit somebody on their bike. It could even be the case that both of us hit somebody on the bike. Um, be safe out there. Make good choices and wear flip-flops in the shower. Stay true to yourself. Don't forget where you came from and take care of yourself. Make sure you exercise, make sure that you eat properly and have a good time. I don't like exercising, but thank you. Thank you to all of the teachers that have answered this question, and I know I'll be taking some of this advice outside for the years to come. I'm Kate in front of the field reporting for TNN. I'll let you all in on a secret. It was Mr. Helm that hit someone on a bike. Oh, yikes. What great advice. I'm Charlie. I'm Gianna. I'm Nikki. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the public for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Titans, tonight is the Torch of Excellence Awards. Congratulations to all the students who received one. Tesoro Theater Arts presents to you Disney's Freaky Friday, the musical. The show is playing on Friday at 7 p.m. Show your support to our theater arts and watch our very talented students put on a fantastic show. Seniors, tell your parents that if they want to show their graduate and the neighborhood just how proud they are with the Tesoro yard sign, the Tesoro PTSA is offering an 18 by 24 yard sign with wire age stakes for $25 each. Order by May 12th. Signs should be available for pickup the week of May 22nd. All students store during lunch. Current sophomores and juniors, are you looking for an elective next year that will give you leadership experience while still helping out our school? If so, you should apply for IMPACT, Tesoro's freshman mentoring program. The applications are available on your Canvas announcements. The deadline is April 29th. Titans, it's Clash of Clashes week, which means we have a pep rally. Make sure to be here on Friday wearing your class colors. Freshmen are white, sophomores are blue, juniors are, or sorry, sophomores are red, juniors are blue, and my seniors are black. There might be some familiar faces, so make sure you're here on Friday. Ari finds out more about ChatGBT. Hello, I'm Ari, reporting from TNN from the TNN studio. You guys definitely recognize this set. This is the set of our iconic Waste a Minute segment. And we all know the Waste a Minute segments aren't that good, but that's kind of the point. Um, we've all been seeing ChatGPT come out and it doing all of our homework. Well, let's see if it can do our TNN homework and write a better Waste a Minute segment than we did. Friday's Waste a Minute segment was who would be a better president, Chase or Moni. Let's go figure it out with AI. So ChatGPT doesn't know who Moni is. We have one of Moni's friends here to describe him. Why, who is Moni? Um, Moni, there's so many ways to describe him. Um, you could start with the fact that he's bad at skating or he could get there with a little bit more practice. You could also say that He's like five, year five years behind on all the memes and pretty unfunny at that. Um, oh, I can't say that. <laughs> no, I can't say that. Um, yeah, um, there's nothing else for me to say because I'm not allowed to say it. That's a pretty good summary of Moni. Uh, let's, let's see what Chase is about. Hey, Kate, describe Chase Crager. Chase Matthew Crager? Yeah, him. Oh, <laughs> he's blonde, like his hair kind of like frays in the wind really nicely, and he has blue eyes, like me, meant to be together, but I mean, like, I guess not, because he, <sighs> sorry, <laughs> he, he turned me down for prom. And, like, I really, really wanted to go with this kid. And he asked someone else. And... 
after these completely relevant explanations of who these people are, I told JetGPT what Waste a Minute was, I told it what Gianna and Kate said, and I said, write a script, and then we gave it to our talent on a teleprompter without letting them read it beforehand, and this is what happened. And now it's time for a Waste a Minute segment, where we waste a minute on a question that may or may not matter. Today's question is, who will make a better president? Chase or Moni? We asked two of their friends for their opinions, and here's what they had to say. So Moni is bad at skating and needs more practice. That might not seem like a big deal, but we all know that being able to skateboard is a crucial part about being a good president. I'm not sure that's entirely true, but okay. What else did they say about Moni? Well, they said that it's out, he's outdated and he tells jokes in 2017. I mean, come on. We're in 2023 now. We need someone with a fresh material. Yeah, I can see that. What about Chase? What did they say about him? They said he was a bit frizzy blonde hair with blue eyes. I'm not sure how that's relevant to his presidential abilities, but there you go. Okay, what else? Apparently he rejected Kate to prom. I don't know who Kate is, but that doesn't really sound very presidential to me. Hmm, interesting. So it sounds like neither of them are perfect candidates, but if you had to choose, who would you go for? Well, I'm, have to, I'm gonna have to go with Chase. At least he's not telling outdated jokes. <laughs> I see your point, but I think I'd have to go with Moni. I mean, besides bad skating, skills aside, he might surprise us with some new material. And there you have it, folks. The very spilt. Who would you choose as your president? Let us know in the comments. That's all I have time with Have Poor Waste a Minute. Thanks for tuning in. Well, that was surprisingly better than I expected, but uh, we have to remember that's scripted and they were just reading a script. Waste a Minute is supposed to be improv. So, for what it was, it was pretty good. But remember, don't use ChatGPT for your homework, because we can tell. And that's all we have for this portion. Um, I'm Ari in the TNN studio, reporting for TNN. Maybe ChatGPT can write Moni some better jokes. That might be the best video we've ever watched in TNN. That was a long one, but we have some breaking news in from Mr. Hancock. I'm going to read it to you guys. If you guys are interested in becoming a better singer, traveling around the world, and making great friends and memories, come to the choir room at lunch today for some free pizza information about our Grammy award-winning choir program. So I think you guys should all go check that out. And that's all I have for my portion of the show. Now on to Gianna with current events. Thanks, Charlie. Seniors, graduation is right around the corner. Each graduate will be given five guest tickets and one parking pass free of charge. But if your family requires more than that, you can purchase up to five additional tickets for $5 each. Additional tickets are available for purchase at our ASB store or online at our ASB web store. For additional parking, it is very limited but will be available for purchase at $20 per pass. Attention juniors and seniors, prom ticket prices go up $10 every week. Currently, they are at $80 with an ASB card and $90 without. Get those tickets ASAP. They will be more expensive next week. Also, if you have library fines, overdue books, or an unserved detention, you won't be able to purchase a ticket, so make sure you get those all covered. Um, tomorrow's spirit day is red flag versus white lie. So upperclassmen wear a red shirt displaying your most egregious Red flag, and underclassmen wear a white shirt with a statement that may be a bit of a fib. Attention parents of freshmen, sophomores, and juniors. If you're watching this, Grad Night Booster Club needs board members and volunteers for 2024 Grad Night event, so next year's Grad Night event. For more information, visit Senior Activities page. And don't miss the most important meal of the day. On Mondays, since there is no break, there is free breakfast offered in the cafeteria before school. Get yours. Now, prepare to waste a minute of your time while Charlie and Rachel answer the question of, between the two of you, who has the better style? I think for a fact, I definitely have way better style than you, Charlie. I definitely have way better style. She dresses so dark. You dress like, so basic. It's How better than dressing better style so dark. Than... How do I dress dark? I'm wearing bows in my hair and a white shirt. You should see her outfit sometime. She dresses in all black. It's a little scary. All right, well, you dress country, bro. Like, you literally- Who like... doesn't like country? <laughs> I mean- That would be me. In conclusion, I think I have way better style. I have style. way better style. Dude, okay, you literally dress basic. I've seen three other girls in the hall with She's the same She's wearing a Brandy Melville jacket. All right, Charlie. I think there's only one way to settle this. We've been spending a lot of time together. I think it's just better if we just yeah. let this go. I think we need to let it go. Yeah. 
<laughs> All right, guys, thanks for tuning in to Rachel with the best outfit on campus. See you guys soon. Well, that sure got really heated. That got very personal. I still think I have the better style, personally. Um, well, besides that, Juan takes an inside look on the school musical Freaky Friday. Let's check it out. Hello, I'm Juan Hernandez here in the theater, reporting for TNN. Tesoro Theater Arts has just released their, their production, Freaky Friday. <clears throat> you need some money? You need some money? I got a job for you. Tesoro Theater Arts is also hosting a competition where you get the chance to win $100 plus a free ticket to Freaky Friday. And here, Devin will explain more about this. So, Devin, first of all, what is the play about? Sure, the musical follows two people, a daughter and a mother, and they basically switch bodies in the beginning of the musical, and they have to try to navigate their day living, living in each other's bodies, trying to figure out what's going on. That is crazy, really. And now let's get to the competition. So what are the tasks to do to win the $100 and the free ticket? Sure, there's going to be a total of five tasks. Right now there's only two tasks out. The first task is to take a picture with any biology teacher, and the second task is to record yourself doing 10 push-ups. Once you do those, send it to the Tesoro Hunt Instagram account. Uh, the rest of the three uh, tasks will be sent out soon. Okay, and finally, how will the winner be chosen if everybody is doing the same task? Sure, I mean, in the end, it is a hunt, it's a race. So the first person to send in all five tasks, that very last task, once it's sent out, the first person to send it in to the Tesoro Instagram will win the $100 and free ticket to Freaky Friday. Oh, okay. Well, there you have it, folks. If you want to stay up, if you want to learn more about these tasks, stay updated on Tesoro Theater Arts on Instagram. I'm Juan Hernandez here at a theater reporting for TNN. I'm super excited to see who won the hunt. Um, I think it's a really creative challenge. I think it's really cool. I wish I could have gotten $100. I know, right? Well, that's all I have for my portion of the show. Now on to Nikki with sports. Thanks, Gianna. Yesterday, the boys' swim team went down to Kappa High School for the prelims for their league championship. They swam very fast and will be fighting for that first place spot on Friday during league finals. Good luck, team. The boys volleyball team has a CIF game tomorrow against SM at home and it starts at 6. Make sure to come support our team as they need all the support they can get to win. The boys golf team won their league championship. If you see them around school, make sure to wish them a congratulations. We're racking up our league titles it seems like. Boys tennis also won their league championship. Great job. The boys baseball team beat Capo yesterday in a close matchup but were able to pull away. They have another game against them today and Friday. Bring home those dubs. The girls lacrosse team won yesterday against Capo 12-4. Throughout the season, the number one spot for the league got passed around a lot, but Tesoro ended up coming out on top of the Seaview League. Good job, girls. That's all I have for sports today. Now on to Charlie to finish off the show. That's all I have for you today, Tesoro. Thanks for tuning in to TNN, your one and only source of Titan news. Have a wonderful Wednesday.